Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So, we're continuing with Adventure 2 today. We're on the swimming pool levels. Should be pretty interesting. We'll get to use some of our new plants to their fullest potential in this episode. But first, we have to tend to our Zen Garden. I'm still struggling with the idea of how I should- how I can make money quickly. If I should just sell all the stuff I have in the Zen Garden and then buy- buy it, or if I really should keep these plants around and have Sneaky Stinky the Snail just collect money for me. I still don't know if Stinky is actually picking up the money while I'm not here. It might be I have to stay actually on the Zen Garden screen and just leave it in the background in order for him to do that, which would suck if that were the case. But I don't know. I'm highly tempted, though, to just sell all of my adult marigolds. All right, Stinky, I'll let, I'll let you collect the stuff this, uh, let you collect the coins this video, but if you don't do a good job, then I'm selling the plants. Let's be honest, I'm spending kind of a lot on bug spray. All right, Stinky, if you can't collect me enough money this video, then, uh, I'm definitely selling the plants back. Alright, so we're still in Adventure Mode 2, and we're gonna clear World 3 today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, now that we're back in the swimming pool, we can really take advantage of some of our plants that we bought from the store. Specifically, Cattail, Gloom Shroom, and, uh, Spike Rock. Spike Rock's gonna be very good here. Now... For the first level here, I'm going to try to get a double achievement. So I already got the t Don't Pee in the Pool achievement, which is clear a daytime pool level without using any pee-related plants. There's another achievement we have yet to get, at least that was in the iPhone version, for not using any aquatic plants on a daytime pool level. So, for that, we're going to need Sunflower. We're also going to need Garlic. we we'll get Starfruit. And we could either get Gloom Shrooms, or we could get Spike Rock. I think we're going to get Gloom Shrooms, because they're far more effective at taking out enemies. Now that we've got this, we should be all set to beat the level without any aquatic plants. Are you sure you want to play this level without any water plants? Yes, I am quite sure. I know what I'm doing. And I just realized I didn't get any uh, plants that can insta-kill zombies at the beginning of the round. Whoops. That's okay, we got Colonel Polt. He's relatively inexpensive. We also have Starfruit. I guess we also have Walnut. We could have used Walnut to just keep the zombies at bay. It's weird playing through a level without using a one-time instant kill plants at the beginning, huh? It's like a whole different strategy opens up. I'm gonna start putting some star fruit down. So I really do have to, again, the, the aquatic zombies are not going to start arriving until pretty late into the level. But I still need to be ready for them when they arrive. Okay. Right here we'll hold you back with a walnut. Munch away at that. Got my next gloom shroom prepped. At this point, that one gloom shroom should do a very effective job of stopping the zombies. We'll heal the walnut. Alright, 
with the Glimstrums and the Starfruit, we should be able to take out the Aquatic Zombies. However, remember that during the final huge wave that uh, the Aquatic Zombies can pop up really far back. So, just as an added precaution, I'm going to put some Starfruit in the back. Don't need that Walnut anymore. Thankfully, we also have the pool cleaners as an extra backup in case things go really awry in the final wave. Like, if we've got aqua bucket zombies popping up around here, that could end up being a bit problematic. Thankfully, I don't really see that happening. And yep, as you can see, it's an achie this achievement is very, very difficult, if not impossible to get on your first adventure mode. If you're playing adventure mode the first time, if you want to get the pool's closed achievement, you have to use free Peters. There's literally no other way. But once you get Starfruit, and especially Gloom Shrooms, it makes it a lot easier. Wow. My garlic is holding up very nice, nice, yeah, very nicely as well. Haven't had to replace it yet, which I'm, I'm impressed by. I know it's the first level in the world, so the zombies aren't going to be nearly as like plentiful as they will be in the future levels, but still. Alright, and then here comes the final huge wave. Let's see what types of zombies pop up in the water. Regardless, I think they're screwed. Yeah, even though you're a cone zombie that showed up far back. Oh yeah, look at that. Just completely wrecked. I don't even think a bucket zombie would have survived that. There we go! Pool's closed achievement on the iPhone version. And don't pee in the pool, all combined into one. All during Adventure Mode 2. Alright, so now we've got some tough zombies. Oh man, we got chompers though. So this is where we're gonna start bringing in the cattails, I think. As well as Spike... Uh, no, not Spike Rock. We do eventually need to get the achievement for getting 8,000 sun on a single level, so I think we might try to do that now. In which case, I want Walnut, and let's see. I probably need another offensive plant beside... Oh, how about Squash? Don't have an offensive plant outside of Spikeweed and Cattail, so this will be interesting. But I'm going to get a lot of sun on this level. I'm going to try to get 8,000 sun here. Because that is that is another achievement I need to get, and it, if there's any set of levels where it's going to be easiest on, it's probably the pool levels. Or the regular grass levels, but I really didn't have Twin Sunflower at that point. Oh, 
I actually did have Twin Silver and Flower at that point, but I, uh, I was just being dumb. I didn't do it then. Plus, we've got more more squares to work with on these levels. There's an extra lane, so. So my plan to get 8,000 sun is I'm going to play for the level normally. And then once we get to the end and when there's one zombie left, I need to have, make sure all of my plants, all my offensive plants have been removed. Then after my offensive plants are removed, I just keep, uh, put a walnut in front of him to, and just keep refilling its HP. Basically stalling him indefinitely. All the while I plant more sunflowers and twin sunflowers. You'll see it in action. First cattail idea. Man, I haven't used chompers in a while, huh? actually gonna put Chomper to use here. <laughs> I'm gonna be building a whole mess of sunflowers. As I've said before, cattails are stupidly busted on any level that involves water. Oh good, he died right before the chomper could eat him. Again, twin sunflower is a terrible... terrible plant. But I'm still using them. They help me get to 8,000 sun. There's also an achievement in the iPhone version for having 10 twin sunflowers planted at once. So we're going to see if we can uh, accomplish that. They said to build lots of sunflowers, but they didn't tell me when to stop. Oh my gosh, look at all that sun. that, an actual decent use of Chomper. The holy grail of Plants vs. Zombies, uh, strategy. Even so, cattails are still keeping up. Even though there are a lot more zombies now than there used to be. There are three huge waves on this level. I probably should have brought more offensive plants in than just Spike Weed, Chomper, and Cattail. But oh well. Made my bed. So now I lie in it. Got 
Darn it, I, I'm having a hard time keeping up clicking all the stuff. The ultimate first world problem, I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of sunflowers. Do not regret bringing this many. That's my sixth twin sunflower. Wave of zombies. Oh gosh, I'm scared. But not really. We got cattails. You look like you need a heal. I just gotta be careful. That for the final huge wave, I don't accidentally kill them all before uh, I get all the sun I need. Because again, your sunflowers stop producing sun after the last zombie dies. Oh, hey. It. Ah, no. Nice going, Chomper. Very proud of you. With all the defensive plants, my cattails actually are able to keep up. Which is great. Twin sunflowers. Okay, not what I wanted to do, but I guess that's okay. Yes, this is probably the most you're going to be seeing me use Chomper in the game outside of that one minigame where you have to use him a lot. On the rooftop. Oh, we're almost there. Sunny Days Achievement! Woohoo! Sweet, okay. Now we can start getting rid of some of this. Uh, the sunflowers. Alright, I need to hold out long enough for me to get another twin sunflower. If I want to get the non-existent... Uh, flower power achievement, which obviously I do. Oh, wait. Okay, that football zombie is going to be the last one we deal with. Never mind, no, he's not. Until all of the aquatic zombies are gone. Darn it. Yeah. Oh, wait. There we go. Flower power. Have ten twin sunflowers planted at once. And there we go. It's the double whammy. All right. Ooh, and now I can show off the fact that catapult zombies will be able to actually take on snorkel zombies even when they're underwater. So that's pretty cool. So I'll bring... you know, I'll bring all the pults. That sounds like a good idea. Let's rock.
All right. Very simple level. Again, the catapult plants are great, even outside the roof levels. Really like them. All right. I think this is a good level for us to actually start using Gatling P since we bought him from the store. Just to show him off, I think this is going to be a long level. We'll also use Torchwood. And we will also use Tallnut to keep back those guys. And is there anything else that we will need? Uh, yes, we will need... I'm going to use Potato Mine for the beginning. I do love me Potato Mine. Aish! I forgot about Lily Pads. Okay, change of plans. Well, not really a change of plans. We're still doing the same thing we were going to do before, but we do need Lily Pads. So the beginning of the level is going to be interesting. I don't have anything, any cheap way of dealing with the first couple zombies. Alright, so he's going on the bottom. That's great. That gives me some time to build up my sunflower supply. Honestly, might go for the jalapeno. I'm also gonna get some extra sunflowers on this level because, uh... Well, I have a feeling I'm gonna need the extra sun power if I have all these expensive plants. Doggone it, repeater's just so good. I also have Tangle Kelp for do uh, taking on the first couple aquatic zombies, which is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, for free columns. Free columns of sunflowers, because I've got some expensive plants to work with. So I think the extra firepower will be... The extra sun power will be needed. on all of the land lanes, which is excellent. Oh boy, here comes our first aquatic zombie. Let's give him a nice Tangle Kelp surprise. Come on. Do not... Okay, thank you. It's just a pole vaulting zombie. They, again, they have way more HP than you might think. You are a Gatling P now. So Gatling P is basically a double repeater. Now we've got to actually start. That is not where I said to put it. I definitely clicked on the lily pad. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know why Gatling P just has such a slow recharge. All of the all of the plants you buy from the store have a really slow recharge for some reason. Not super sure why, but all right. There. Oh, actually, that works out. You get to jump over that.
Oh, I'm sure glad I have Tangle Kelp for that guy. Not where I wanted to put him, again. That's okay, we have Jalapeno. Oh, that was actually perfect timing. It got rid of two bucket zombies. Very nice. Dog on it. That was the wrong place to put it. have been undervaluing Tangle Kelp a little bit. Has been helping me out quite a lot. Uh-oh. Tangle Kelp. That's okay. I got it. <laughs> Watch as the fireballs just melt everything in their path. Ironically, the only zombies that are getting anywhere are the pole vaulting zombies just because of the extra speed that they have. But, like, look at this. The other zombies are just melting like they're nothing. Even the bucket zombies. Like, look at this. He took a single bite and that was it. go. Alright, so Galling P wasn't as bad as I thought, but only really because that was a super long level. 
Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them become out real little. Real little and real mean. Defend your shins. All right, Crazy Dave. Oh, that's right. Tiny zombie level again. I don't think this will be any different. Drunken zombie mayhem was just as easy as the first time. Here comes the zombonies. All right. Now we finally get to pull out the spike rock. This is going to be good. Honestly, that's probably good. We probably only need kernel bolts, so we'll get potato mines for the beginning.
Probably not the optimal way to beat that level, but way regardless. Now we go to the pool party. Pretty sure this conveyor belt level is exactly the same in Adventure 2. So let's have some fun.
get toasted. <laughs> that is a lot of free peters. All right, that is world free cleared on Adventure 2. The fog levels will have to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. Next time we go to the fog levels, which will be made a lot easier with um, with Cattail and Gloom Shroom. <laughs> Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.